Now, let's look at this example. Find the polynomial function of degree 3. Okay, so we know the degree is given. Whose graph is shown in the figure? Okay. Right here, we know this is 1, this is 3, and here the graph goes is through 0, 3, this point. You know, on the y-axis, the first coordinate x is 0. Huh? And then the point here is 1, 2, 3. So that's why you can mark this. Yeah, we want to find out that the algebraic expression for f of x based on the graph. How to do that? We know 1 and 3 are zeros. So here is the way an explanation. Look, we know that from the graph, we see there are two zeros. One is one, another is three. Then x is one, x is three are two zeros. So we know f of x has two factors, which is x minus one and x minus three. Okay, so we know that. Yeah. The reason you can see clearly here is that if you plug in one, if you plug in one into the uh, polynomial here, see if here you plug in one, then one minus one is zero. If one factor is zero, it crashes all. Okay, it crashes all. And similarly, if you plug in three, okay, three minus three is zero. So this quantity is zero, it leads to all the whole expression to zero. So we know x minus one and x minus three are two factors. Okay. Now, look. Let's look at the uh, right here x minus one first. This factor on the left hand side. You see left hand side. Let's pick a point. Point five. Point five minus one. You know that's negative point five, which is less than zero. If you pick another point, 1.5, you may pick up uh, another one, 1 1.6. But here I pick up 1.5. That's on the right hand side of 1. And then you know 1.5 is greater than 1. When you do 1.5 minus 1, you get 0.5, which is positive. Okay. Be careful right here is that on the left hand side, you minus one, you pick a value minus one, you got negative. On the right hand side, you pick another point, you get positive. But you know, from the picture we can see, on the left hand side, the graph is above x axis, is positive. On the right hand side, is the same thing. Okay? Then this tells us what? f of x does not change in signs when x goes across 1. From here to here, the graph does not change in sign. Of course, it reaches 0, because 1 is the 0 point. But here it tells us, huh, x, it doesn't matter is less than 1 or is greater than 1, Signs are positive. The reason is because the exponent of x minus 1 needs to be an even number. So instead of 1 here, 
it has to be 2, 4, 6 or something. This is basically from this picture, it says. Yeah. So if it were 2 here, you square this number, negative 0.5, you get a positive. You square pos positive 0.5, you si still get a positive. Okay, that's the reason we say the exponent of x minus 1 has to be positive, uh, has to be even, okay? That's important. Has to be even. Maybe 2, maybe 4. But remember, look, we were told what? The degree of f of x was 3. Okay, this is what we were told. So if here the degree is 3, then if here is 2, here is 1, add together would be 3. So we cannot say then here is 4. Ah, if it's 4, then here is 1, the whole polynomial will be 5. That's why we say, huh, since as the polynomial has degree 3, one may conclude that x minus 1 has exponent 2, and x minus 3 has exponent 1. Okay. Now, now why didn't we conclude that x minus 3 has an exponent 2, 4, 6, even number? Here is the reason. Uh, it's because, you know, when x, you pick x, 2.5 on the left, 2.5 minus 3 is negative, okay, negative 0.5, and then you pick a number, 3.5, which is greater than 3, and then you got positive 0.5. But we do know if it's negative, here is positive. So it goes across 3. When x goes is across 3, it changes the signs. You may wonder, huh, less than 3, we got a negative here. But the one here is above x axis is positive. And here you see when we pick up a value which is greater than 3, we get a positive. Why here is negative? It's because there is an undecided constant A in front of it. Uh, A here can be positive number or can be negative number. But we know here this is the given condition. When x is 0, y is 3, we can decide this value a by using this one condition. We know if we plug in 0, because x is 0, y is 3, okay? So if we plug in 0 here, plug in 0 here, then we should have a y is 3. So let's do it. We plug in 0 here, plug in 0 here, and then we should get a 3. With this condition, equation, we can find out a. Here are the details. Look, 0 minus negative 1 is negative 1. Square it, you get a positive 1. 0 minus negative 3 is negative 3, so you leave it right here. Okay. Now, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, and A, you leave it, equals 3. Both sides divided by negative 3, 
So this is negative 3 divided by negative 3. You have a positive 1. And then you know that 1 times a is just a. The left hand, left hand side is 3 divided by negative 3, which is negative 1. Okay? So here, a is negative 1. You put it back here. Yeah. You have that. Okay, so a is negative one. Uh, you don't need to write one because one times anything is that thing. So uh, this is actually f of x. Okay, you may expa expand this. I think you may also leave it like this. Okay, yeah. For more details, remember if you want to expand that, you got to use the FOIL method for x minus 1. Okay, so you see the details for x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 times x minus 1. If you use for your method, okay, that's for your method that will be x squared. Outer product is negative x. Uh, inner product is also negative 1 times x. That's negative x. Okay. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Uh, so you then have what? x squared minus 2x plus 1, okay, for that. Yeah, and then, you know, you may write here is negative x squared minus 2x plus 1, okay, and then times x minus 3. Okay, how to do this one? Look. More details I can put right here. x squared minus 2x plus 1. And here is x minus 3. You do by distributive property. Okay. Yeah. Exponent is 1. x times x squared cubed here. 2x, x, 2x squared is because here is 1. 1 plus 1. Here is 1 plus 3. Uh, 1 plus 2, you have a 3. Here is 1 plus 1, you have a 2. And x times 1 is just x. Similarly, you do for 3. Okay. Yeah, so you may put it right here. Right here. Negative 3 times x squared. Negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 2x. 6x. Negative 3 times negative 1. Negative 1. Okay. And then you combine these like terms. You then have x cubed. Negative 5x squared. 7x minus 1. Okay. Remember, you have a negative in front of the whole thing. Ah. So then you have you have to change the sign negative. Negative sign goes to each one. There is a negative, negative. So here you have a negative here. Okay. And you have a negative here, and negative goes to everyone. Okay, here was positive, so negative, and then positive. So the final answer is what? You may put negative x cubed ma uh, plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 1. Okay, yeah. So this will be the final polynomial.
actually, I think this should also be counted correctly. Uh, okay, I'll see you next time.